Frank Shines here. We're going to take a look at an example of how we can use robotic process automation to create a bot that extracts data from a website, Google Analytics in this, in this particular case using Microsoft Power BI as part of a way of pulling together reporting and analytics for a mashup of data from a number of different systems that can be analyzed with the dashboard. So let's take a look. From this point forward, my hands are off the control and the bot is running everything. So first the bot goes out, opens up Power BI desktop version. Once it's got the application open, there's an automatic delay and a slow movement of the mouse to make sure that the application is fully open first so it doesn't prematurely click and get ahead of the computer. Then it's going to do a quick little search in the Google window, pull up Google Analytics, connect to Google Analytics as a way of bringing data from a, a number of different websites. In this particular case, we're going to use one, but we could pull it from multiple websites, as you can see there. And it's going to grab the click stream data, the advertising cost data, and the cost per click, as well as the click-through rate information. In this case, you'll notice that we slowed down the robot on purpose to make sure that the data has loaded so we can see all the information ahead of time. Now we'll go ahead and load it. Once we complete a bot, we can optimize it by speeding up the delays and wait times. But we've got to be very careful that we don't make it go too fast. As in this particular example, you can see that's taking a little bit of time to pull the website data. So we've automatically put in about a 12 to 15 second delay between these processes before we start going to create our table, extracting that data. Now we're going to pull that data that we just pulled uh, through Google Analytics. And we're going to bring it into our Microsoft dashboard. And in this particular case, what we're going to do is store this information in the shared directory so when the, the different analysts come in, they can grab that data, mash it up with other internal data, such as uh, CRM data and some of the um, QuickBooks financial information or the SAP or Oracle financial information. So you can see it's done that. It's collected all the information, it exported as a CSV file or an Excel spreadsheet in this particular case, and saved that to a folder. Uh, again, this is Frank Shines with uh, another example of how we can use Power BI together with robotic process automation to improve our reporting and analytics capabilities. Thank you.